No! Squidward! That's a very sensitive device! Squidward, I will be... So, what seems to be the problem, Mr. Tentacles? It all started when I was born. <laughs> So there's been a lot of weird mistakes in today's video, but this next episode, the plot of it, is even more weird. The episode is Squid Bob Tentacle Pants, which already gives you an idea. I'm gonna get into the mistakes, but first, here are some funny clips from the episode. Hey Sandy, what's this? Well this here's my new matter transporter. It can move things from one place to another in the blink of an eye. Do you think your machine could zap me over to the Krusty Krab? Always did want to try a critter. <laughs> Hold on tight. Hey Sandy, this should feel so... Well, here we go again. Hey Squidward! Ah! Hi Sandy! What are you doing with my hand? What, what am I doing with your hand? Ah, what is this? Yeah, SpongeBob and Squidward getting morphed together sounds like a nightmare, especially for Squidward, because he does not like SpongeBob very much. What I don't like personally, though, are the mistakes in this episode. Let's see if you guys can spot this one. Sandy, Sandy, please tell me you figured out a way to separate us. Say hello to the molecular separator ray. Hello, molecular separator ray. I I'm still putting it together. At best, I'll have it ready, uh, day after tomorrow? No, 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 no. I have a performance tomorrow. I can't be stuck to that yellow freak. Sandy, please, you gotta do it before the show. I'll have it ready before you go on. So as you guys seen, SpongeBob and Squidward change colors in limbs a little bit. And as you can see, SpongeBob has this tentacle arm since, you know, he's morphed with Squidward. And more importantly, it's this bluish color. All right, remember this. Well, at one point where Squidward speaks to Sandy and says, I can't stay stuck to that yellow freak. And it zooms in on SpongeBob over here. The tentacle arm is yellow instead of the usual bluish color. It's supposed to be the bluish color, but you can see why this mistake would have happened. Normally, SpongeBob's yellow, so that's why they'd made it yellow. But in terms of the episode's plot and the coloring and the animation, this is totally a mistake. And here's another one. The show must go on. Ladies and gentlefish, Squidward tentacles. Honey, I'm scared. Did you guys catch it? Well, in the part where Incidental 41 holds his barf that's disgusting, take a look at Sandals over here as his eyes are just not attached to his body. What? <laughs> Toilet humor. The Patrick Star Show episode, Host of Palooza, is a ton of fun. I love the Patrick Star Show, but just like SpongeBob, it has mistakes. Before we get into the mistakes, though, here are some funny clips from this episode. Stay tuned, though, as the mistake is really bad. And now, for today's final act, Patrick will attempt to escape from a straitjacket in a glass tank. While you're healing, I've booked a guest host. Oh, is the guest host ice cream? Okay, here's the mistake, but like I said, now you guys know the episode is really good, so go watch it after you're done watching this video. All right, here's the mistake. <laughs> Patrick, and my favorite color is 12. If you think you can do a better Patrick, then come up here and try it yourself. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you 
guys catch that? So, when the audience members run through the spinning glass right here, if we zoom in and slow it down a little bit, some of these audience members run directly through the glass rather than the open space right here, which just isn't possible, guys. That's just really weird animation. You can't just walk through glass. Seriously, just look how bad that is. I'm looping the footage and it's just, it's so bad. You know what's also bad though? The mistakes in this next episode we're gonna cover. Let's keep it moving. SpongeBob, you never told me you had a girlfriend. Oh, I'm not his girlfriend. I'm Pat. Trisha, Patricia, Patricia. Ah! Bro, your girlfriend is not <laughs> ugly. <laughs> Next up, coming in hot, is the episode That's No Lady, an episode all about Patrick becoming a woman so he doesn't get kicked out of Bikini Bottom. It's funny, but what's more funny are the mistakes in this episode. They're very spicy. Here's the first one. So, are you free this Saturday night? No. That's the night SpongeBob and I are having a staring contest. SpongeBob? How would you like to be my date Friday night to a. Well, I can't. SpongeBob and I will be flying submarines that night. I have to get back to crusting the crab. But I made reservations for two. And I said no. No. No way. No. 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 Were you guys able to catch it? Because if you look at Incidental 37A's eyes over here during this scene where Patrick shouts no, his eyes are looking pretty goofy. Those eyes are tweaking. This dude's bugging. Yeah, Incidental 37A's eyes are misaligned, which is a really bad, like, animation mistake here. And guys, here's another one. Hey, you there! Who, me? Yes, you! Get out of town! <laughs> Take a vacation to beautiful Sunny Seashores Resort. Here you go, sir. What can I get you, sir? Say, don't I know you from somewhere? That's it. Get out of town. He's on to us. You'll have to do something horrible to me before I'll let you throw Patrick out of town. You forgot your flyer. Get out of town. To beautiful Sunny Shore Resorts. Listen up, Grapple Gang, because this one's weird and requires you guys to really pay attention for it to make sense. So, when the first display of the vacation paper is shown, it reads, To beautiful Seashore Resort. Remember this, it's important, okay? To beautiful Seashore Resort. Well, if you watch as the scene progresses and SpongeBob looks at the paper, it changes randomly. And now it says, To beautiful Sunny Shore Resorts. At first, there was no S at the ending of resorts, but then Literally like seconds later when Spongebob looks at it, there's now an S randomly added, which is again, totally a mistake. It's not that big of a deal, but like how did this mistake even happen? Okay, here's another one from That Snow Lady. This one is a good one. What is it about me that makes those two so friendly? Must have something to do with this disguise. I can't wear this any longer. You'll have to leave Bikini Bottom. Well, I'm sorry, SpongeBob. I just can't live like this anymore. As I mentioned before, a big part of the plot of this episode is Patrick dressing up as this beautiful woman. And as you can see, he rocks this green skirt right here. My boy's dripping. Or I guess my girl's dripping. Well, if we watch during this scene, when Patrick is crying over his new identity, that green skirt actually turns yellow for a fraction of a second before changing back, which seems to be more of like an animation glitch. I don't think like the animators did this. I think like when rendering this episode or something, it glitched out and it turns yellow for like just a fraction of a second. It's still technically a mistake though. And guys, we've got more, so don't click off yet. The mistakes coming up are unbelievable. Excuse me, gents, but what's with all the hullabaloo? We're just waiting in line to buy a Krabby Patty. Krabby Patty? <laughs> what's the uh, password, please? What are you talking about, you gargantuan buffoon? That's it! Come right in! Curse you! Let's talk about an episode from season five. The episode is Band in Bikini Bottom. There are a ton of mistakes in this episode, like a lot. Here's the first one. Sweet to eat, treat that's neat. Sweet, treat, treat, sweet, treat, sweet, treat, 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 This wild hooligan running amok, singing, dancing, it's 
It's shameless. Disgusting. This one requires you guys to really, really pay attention, so listen closely, Grapple Gang. This character right here is Miss Grusselpus. She has a very big role in this episode, as she's the one who bans Krabby Patties from Bikini Bottom. Anyways, though, as you guys just saw, when Miss Grusselpus over here blows her whistle, we can see that the whistle is connected to this black lanyard around her neck, all right? It's like a necklace, and the whistle's attached at the end. Remember this, you can see it right here, as in the next scene, like seconds later, when we see her again, everything has changed. Her whistle is no longer connected to a black lanyard, and it's now randomly connected to the thread of her shirt. Again, without the lanyard, the lanyard's just gone. Here's a quick side-by-side, -side. like look at how different it is. This happens in a matter of seconds and is totally a mistake, guys, and here's another one from this episode. This one's worse. <laughs> Hello, and welcome one and all your money to ye old crusty crab. Come along, sisters. Pay no mind to this crimson abomination. I know you guys had to catch that one, as at the very beginning of the episode, when Mr. Krabs greets Mrs. Russellpuss, where is my boy's belt? It's more specifically this shot in front of the Krusty Krab. Like, where is his belt? In the next shot, it's back, as you can see here. But in that one shot, my boy is missing his belt. What? If you thought that was bad, though, stay tuned, guys. Lots of weird mistakes coming up. I don't have time to wait in line. Sorry, but I can't be late today. Ah. Ooh, what the? Hey! Ah. <clears throat> Sorry, everyone, but Mr. Krabs needs me. Reporting for duty, sir. First up is going to be Truth or Square, which is quite literally almost a SpongeBob movie. This episode is almost over an hour long, but it's only really considered to be a special ATV special. Now, it's a good one. It has a lot of good moments, but it also has tons of mistakes. So let's dive into the first one. Take a look at this. <laughs> SpongeBob's house! Oh, hello! Are you okay? Is that Did you guys catch it? It's pretty blatant. But when SpongeBob says, Are you okay? in Patchy's dream, the right side of this dude's pants is just transparent. It's entirely see through, dude. Like, what? This one is a pretty bad mistake, guys. Like, the animators completely forgot to color in this part of his pants, which is ridiculous. But hold up, guys, there's more. Here's another mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch this one. There it is! I'm coming for you, square pants. I'm ready. He's ready. He's ready. Let's go. Oh, you, oh, you little scalawag. Just having some technical difficulties. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh. Now, as any hardcore SpongeBob fan knows, a big part of these specials is Patchy the Pirate. I love this dude, which fun fact, Patchy the Pirate is actually Tom Kenny, who is the voice actor of SpongeBob. Very interesting. But anyways, this next mistake has to do with Patchy, as when he's shaking around in the whale, take a look at this, his hand gets slightly cut off. It looks kind of rough, but this one isn't that big of a deal. This next mistake though, this one you guys don't want to miss. Roll the footage. Oh, crusty crap. Oh, Krusty Krab. Oh, how I love you, Krusty Krab. Oh, 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 oh. oh, Krusty Krab, you've always been there for me. When I'm tired and hungry, I just reach out my hand, and there you are. Are you with me, people? Yeah! In that case, let's get some Krabby Patty! 
All right, so take a look at this. When SpongeBob sings, oh, crusty crab, look over here. We can see the path to the chum bucket. It's right there, right? We can see it. The path is right there. But during this scene near the end, where did it go? The path is just gone now. First, it was there during this scene where SpongeBob sings, but then near the ending of the episode, it's just gone. Almost as if the animators forgot about the path in this last scene, which is totally a mistake. And guess what, guys? Here's another one from this special. Truth or Square has a lot of mistakes. Remember the day Sandy and I got married? <gasps> what? No. I'm freaking out! Mm -hmm. SpongeBob, do you take Sandy as your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And Sandy, do you take SpongeBob as your lawfully wedded husband? And how? Well then, I now pronounce you Sponge and Squirrel. Worst play I've ever seen! So for this one to really make sense, let's take a look at a general shot of Sandy Cheeks over here, our favorite squirrel. So as you can see, there's this patch of tan fur on her torso. And as you can also see, it normally extends to above her chest, all right? It looks like this, this tan fur right here. But if we take a look at Sandy in her wedding dress in this scene, the way that her fur looks is just different. The patch of tan fur on her torso just doesn't extend this time. Like, look, here's a side by side and I'm circling the areas and you guys can kind of see the mistake here. Not that big of a deal, but let's head over to another special guys with even worse mistakes. These mistakes coming up are bad. <laughs> And now the couple will exchange their vows. Eugene, you have everything I ever wanted in a man. An exoskeleton, freakishly long eye stalks, and the secret Krabby Patty formula. As any hardcore SpongeBob fan knows, Mr. Krabs over here is quite the cheapskate, all right? This guy cares a lot about money, so much so that I don't even think he pays SpongeBob. And we really get to see his obsession for money in the season nine episode, Married to the Money, where he quite literally marries money. So we think, I'm not gonna spoil the episode. What I will spoil though, are these mistakes. Take a look at this. I may have found you a new mom. No way, I have seen stepmoms in movies, dad. She'll make me sweep up the cinders, and that she won't let me go to the ball! Oh, don't worry, sweetie. Nothing will ever come between us. Oh, she's here! Well, Pearl, I love your shoes. I'm not wearing shoes. Those are barnacles. Oh, uh, I have some cream for that. Stop trying to... Me, lady. This is another one that I can't help but to just laugh at. It's really funny. So as you guys heard, Pearl says that she's not wearing any shoes, all right? She's not wearing any shoes, supposedly. But quite literally, guys, literally. And the next scene, look, this girl is now wearing her boots. I guess boots and shoes are different, but nah, that was a mistake. Come on, it's totally a mistake. Girl literally said she wasn't wearing anything on her feet, pretty much. And then she has boots on, so the animators must have forgot about that line. They also forgot about this mistake right here, though. Take a look at this one. This one's rough. Another lonely evening. Dumping trash. Alone. Huh? Um. Hello, miss? Careful. Your ink will run. <laughs> My, he's such a gentleman. My date was supposed to bring me to the bank. But he stood me up. If I met the scallywag that stood you up, I'd knock him down. You really need the eyes of like a hawk or an eagle to catch this one. So when Mr. Krabs first sees Kashina, this street light right here, all right, this one right here has a bus sign on it. This sign right here. Remember this, as when Mr. Krabs punches the street light later on, the bus sign should be right here, but it's gone. First, there was the bus sign, but then it just disappears during this shot. Like what? What a weird mistake. But guys, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Get ready for some really weird mistakes in this next episode. So, how's that time coming? I don't know. Let me check. Looking good. How's yours? Just a minute. <gasps> I could have sworn I was laying on my back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it's time to go back in time to, you know, the best era of SpongeBob. I'm talking about season three. We're talking about SpongeGuard on duty. Let's see if you guys can spot this mistake. Here's a 
little context first. So, all of the older SpongeBob episodes and some of the newer ones are animated by Rough Draft Korea. This is like a company from Korea. They do all of the main animation and coloring on the show, okay? So remember this, it'll make sense now. Now the mistake happens at the ending of this montage, all right? The montage you guys just seen in the clips. Like always, when it goes to change scenes, there's a bubble transition. For reference too, guys, here's a quick clip of a normal bubble transition in SpongeBob. You're not a lifeguard, are you? No, Larry. Let's go, guys! You get what I mean, right? That bubble transition. Well, in SpongeGuard on duty, at the ending of the montage, a bubble transition appears. But if you look at the bottom, there's a little bit of a blue screen which says Rough Draft Korea. This isn't supposed to be here. This is a mistake and it's being shown on accident in between the transition. It's a really weird one. Hopefully you guys got what I was saying here, but that whole blue screen with Rough Draft Korea, it's not supposed to be there. And I'm actually pretty sure Rough Draft Korea got in trouble for it. But anyways, let's keep the video going and head over to more mistakes in another episode. Out of my way! Out of my way! Can't you see he's gonna kick my butt? Hi there, young people. A nice day today. So, you like kicking butts, do ya? Well, we'll show you, old man! There he is! Go get him! Oh boy, another classic Spongebob banger. This one's The Bully. This is a really good episode. I love the character Flats. I mean, he's a bully. He's not very nice, but he's still a funny character. Here, take a look at some of these hilarious scenes of him being a massive bully. Hi, I'm Spongebob. Hi, Spongebob. I'm going to kick your butt. You did mean it. I gotta skip town, start a new life, live under an assumed name, a Bob Pants Sponge Square. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, except you forgot the part where I kick your butt. <gasps> Why, you're in the hospital. This young boy saved your life. He performed CPR for five hours straight. Yeah, they said you'd be okay after the first few minutes, but I just wanted to be sure. I'll have to remember that when I'm kicking your butt. Those flowers for me? Okay, on to the mistakes. It's what you guys clicked on the video for. Let's see if you guys can spot this one. <laughs> huh? Are you Flats' dad? Why, yes I am. I sit next to your son Flats in school and he is a fine boy and all. And I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but he wants to kick my butt. Dad, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, son. What did I tell you about talking to strangers? Now he's gonna kick my butt. <laughs> So, when Spongebob comes running out of school and crashes into Flats' dad's boat, we can see that it only has one seat, so only one fish would be able to be in this boat at a time. Remember this, as later, during this scene, Flats is now randomly shown in the car as well along with his dad. Which wouldn't be possible because there was only one seat unless like Flats is like sitting on his dad's lap. They're both pretty big dudes too, I don't mean to be mean, but they're both kinda, kinda thick, so I don't think they'd be able to fit in there. Totally a mistake and here's another one guys hopefully you guys can catch this one there shall be no butt kicking in any class of mine this is an adult program spongebob just leave it to me i talked to flats for you i used your name it was all a misunderstanding you what flats is from a town where kicking someone's butt means that he wants to be your friend and maybe play some sports with you on weekends I got diarrhea. So as you guys just heard, we could hear Mrs. Puff speaking. All right, we could hear her voice and everything. But if you watch closely during this scene where you could hear her, Flats is making the sand sculpture of SpongeBob and kicks it. But Mrs. Puff's mouth is not actually moving. So how did we hear her? You can see it right here. Her mouth isn't moving, but we heard audio of her talking. So an audio mistake, a weird one. And guys, I've got another one from this episode. This one is spicy. We have a new student starting today, so let's all put on a happy face for Flats the Flounder. Hi, I'd like to place an order for delivery. Patrick? I'm in big trouble. There's a new guy at school here and he wants to kick my butt. Do you think you can come down here and maybe rough him up a bit? Just to get him off my back? I was just talking to my old community college buddy, Flats. <laughs> I bumped into him at the soda store. Isn't that funny? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, like I said, this one's spicy, this one's bad. So when Flats first walks into the classroom, look at the door he comes through and look at where it leads, all right? This door goes from outside to inside the classroom. But later on in the episode, where this door leads entirely changes. Like I said, it leads outside based on this scene. But later on, when SpongeBob's standing in this hallway, we can see that this door also leads to this hallway. When it should lead outside. I know this one's kind of confusing. Hopefully you guys got it. But where this door leads changes, and it's very weird. Not as weird as this next episode and its mistake, though. So let's watch it. Stay tuned. SpongeBob Square Pantus, you must wear the ancient crest of your ancestors, for it is your birthright! My birthright! Let's take this to the Bikini Bottom Museum. They'll know what it is. Next up is Atlantis Square Pantis. And this is personally one of my favorite SpongeBob specials. It's hilarious. They go in this like van that takes them to Atlantis. At one point, they even go into a video game. I'm gonna show the mistakes, but take a look at this really cool scene of them in the video game. Let me out of this thing. <laughs> What's going on here? I oh. No. Ah! Squidward, don't make any sudden movements. Help! Ah! Yeah! Dude, that's really cool. It's like really cool animation too that they did a shot like this. But what isn't good animation is the four mistakes in this episode. To be fair, the episode's almost an hour long, so it makes sense. But anyways, here's the first mistake. I was wondering if I could get a peek at some of your scientific achievements. Of course, Miss Cheeks. Look at all this high tech gear. What does this gizmo do? It's a biomass converting device. It can take any household object and turn it into, say, ice cream. I can show you the most amazing slash fantastic device. Behold, this grand machine allows the user to be broken down to nanostature. How's it work? Please have a seat and I'll explain. So just like Truth or Square, this next mistake revolves around Sandy, all right? So let's take a look at her design again. As you can see, Sandy always has this like square icon on her suit and it's always yellow. Well, in Atlantis Square Pantis, when Sandy says, how's it work? That square around the acorn on her suit is white for some reason. When as you guys just seen, it's supposed to be yellow. Here's like a side by side. Yeah, that's a mistake. And here's one that's twice as bad from the same episode. Take a look at this. Pathetic. I'm Patrick! I'm Patrick! 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 Uh, 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 I don't know what I like. Hey, look! It's Atlantis. Pretty. Yeah, did you guys catch that? Because this one is like really brutal. So when everyone is at the window after Squidward says, look, it's Atlantis. SpongeBob's left leg is just missing. It's kind of hard to see. I'm zooming in and circling, dude. Yeah, his left leg is just gone. It's a cartoon and mistakes happen, especially in 2D animated cartoons. But how do you forget to draw a character's left leg? There's no excuse for that one, man. But let's keep it moving. I've got more mistakes from Atlantis Square Pantis. Here's mistake number three. So many weapons. How do I choose? Look at this one. What a beautiful view. Eedy, meedy, mighty mo. I pick you. Now let's go. Don't let them get away. <laughs> <laughs> This next one has to do with Plankton's arsenal of weapons. So when Plankton finally picks up his weapon, as you can see, it's red. Remember this, okay? It's red. But if we watch as the scene progresses and it gets to this point where he stops everyone in their tracks, it's now green. Here's another side by side. At first it was red, but now it's green. Weapons don't just change colors randomly, guys. Like, I mean, it looks cooler green. I mean, but that's not how it works. That's totally a mistake. And there's one more from this episode. This one is also pretty rough. Take a look at this. Is this some kind of joke? Where's the gas tank? Huh? The engine of this vessel is fueled by song. They're gone. Now to get to those weapons. Looks like I found my escape route. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ow! Listen closely, guys, as this one's kinda technical. Now, when Mr. Krabs is trying to put gas in the bus, there's no exhaust pipe, all right? This is a big point in the episode right here. There's no exhaust pipe. They're also told that the bus uses singing as its fuel, so it doesn't need gas, and there is no exhaust pipe at all in this van or this bus, right? Well, then explain this, as later on, we see Plankton literally climbing out of an exhaust pipe of the van or the truck, which is totally a mistake. They literally said that it doesn't use gas, so there wouldn't be an exhaust pipe on the bus, guys. This is just another mistake. This one's kind of funny, too. It's like, what? But let's keep it moving and head over to another special. Stand over here and say your line. Tastes so nice. Krabby Patties are a big part of Bikini Bottom. Like, these dudes eat a lot of Krabby Patties, as we just seen with Sandals ordering like over 90 of them. But things get really messy in the episode Goodbye Krabby Patty, with Krabby Patties becoming store bought and being taken out of the Krusty Krab. Here, look, it's actually a wild plot, and then we'll get into this episode's one really, really, really bad mistake, guys. This one's rough. The Krabby Patties, they taste so nice that they. Tastes nice! my slogan. Will this commercial really help me make money? You need to call your bank, Krabs, because they are gonna have to build an extra vault to hold all the extra money. I do declare, Mr. Grouper. I believe I have a case of the vapors. Take a look around. It's your dream come true. Through the wonders of automation, this factory can make as many Krabby Patties in one minute as we used to make in a week. Hey, what does that barrel say, Sand? Well, it's imported. It's spelled sand, but it's pronounced fiddler. From a writing perspective, this is like a really smart concept. And here's a question, guys. If you could go to the supermarket right now and buy frozen Krabby Patties, would you do it? I would. I want to try one. Hold your horses, though, guys. Before we do that, we got to talk about this final mistake. And like I said, this one is bad. This is like the worst one in the video. Can you imagine if they had frozen Krabby Patties at the supermarket? Oh, that'd be so convenient. Everyone in the world could enjoy them. Oh. Oh. SpongeBob! That's a million dollar idea that I just had that you just said before me. So, at the beginning of the episode, SpongeBob gives his idea about frozen Krabby Patties to Mr. Krabs. And as you can see, his tie is black, all right? But after this happens, SpongeBob's tie turns white. And then it's like this for the rest of this entire scene, guys. This was a really bad mistake, guys. But hey, I'll forgive Nickelodeon because I love SpongeBob just as much as you guys. And if you guys want more SpongeBob content like this, click this video where I talk about times where SpongeBob appeared in other cartoons, guys. There's been tons of times where SpongeBob has made a cameo or an appearance in other cartoons. So click it. Click this video. It's so much fun and we can watch it together. Do it. Click it, click it, click it, and I'll bring you a Krusty Krab pizza. So click it. All right, I'll see you guys over there. Peace.